Local serial killer, Jordan Marino, has been captured following the unveiling of a series of leads surrounding recent murders. These murders left certain evidence, providing police with a new and concrete lead. Marino has now been taken for questioning at Worcester Police Station. This is Daryl Lawson interviewing the suspect on the Sean Foster case. You state your name and date of birth for the recording, please. Jordan Moreno, 12th of March, 1992. February 25th, 2017, a body was found at 17 Warren Drive with wounds that match asphyxiation. This man was Sean Foster, a notable crime boss and con artist. Due to the messy nature of the crime scene, we could see that it was a crime of passion. But messy isn't your usual style now, is it? You left too much evidence this time, Jordan. Fingerprints, footprints, clothing fibres. Enough to put you away for a very long time. But why was, why was this, this one, one so, so different? different? Um, cause of death is believed to be asphyxiation. Um, cause by article number one on the floor. How's the job? I understand it wasn't your usual type of target. In one word, messy. He definitely knew how to put up a fight, but he didn't last much longer with a spray of bullets in his back. My inside man said you left him alive. There's a bloody trail left in his wake. What inside man? I was told my reputation spoke for itself. I don't need watching by your minions. Definitely wasn't what I expected. Not for your usual high standard. I worked with the intel you gave me. Give me poor intel, you get a sloppy job. I expected a clean kill. No traces. Failure to meet my demand. Failure in payment. This can go on all night. Fine, I'm in no rush. I presume you realised the mistakes you'd made seconds after Mr Foster's body hit the floor. Which might explain why we found your fingerprints all over the kitchen. You then sprinted out of his house, ran for your car and then abandoned it three miles up the road. Police are following up new leads regarding the recent murder of Sean Foster, renowned crime boss and con artist. 
The murderer's whereabouts are still unknown. However, the local forensic investigation unit, led by Daryl Lawson, are following up new evidence, which they hope will lead to capture and conviction. We will keep you updated as events unfold.